Was it tough for Mark for you to say, "All right, we're going to do this again," and and uh, we've gone through what we've gone through in the past, but I need to have a confidence level here that things are going to be the way they were. Or no, we uh, as soon as we got together, we just um, remembered the good times that we had in the past, forgot forgot the uh, little period of, of of rough times that we had, and uh, you know just just took it from square one again, you know, and and uh, got in the room and just started playing music and. and didn't talk about any of the, the the stuff that caused the drama. You know, we just wanted to, to do what we enjoy doing, and why uh, why we got back together was for the music. So we got right to it. Scott, I know you uh, have said several times that your family's been a, a real influence on you, and I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about that. Most definitely, I think uh, you know your priorities shift and uh, your mentality changes, and, and you know you. It's taken my family and my wife and my two children to teach me what love is, what friendship is, uh, what sacrifice is, and what's most important in life. And, uh, you know, you get outside of, of living for yourself. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, they've been an inspiration to me, my wife has, and, and uh, my son Jagger in Milan and my nephew JP. A lot has happened sports-wise in this town since the last time we saw you guys. I mean... You know, a few World Series and yep. Super Bowls Super Bowls. and NBA championships. NBA championships. And, you know, have you, when you guys took some time off, did you guys have a chance to kind of get caught up with your favorite teams? And how do you guys, you know, keep tabs on that stuff while you're on the road? Man, don't, I, don't say you're a Rays fan either because we don't want to hear about the Rays. <laughs> I happen to get really, really uh, had a wonderful opportunity there, game four against St. Louis and uh, – uh, what was it, 2004? 2004, yeah, 2004, in St. Louis. yeah, uh, when the Red Sox uh, were up 3 nothing, And I got to sing God Bless America there. Uh, it was electric. And, uh, and then to see the, <laughs> see, uh, you know, the Sox and, and, and all the guys that I knew on the team uh, just celebrate uh, at the end of that game, man. It was, it was electric. And uh, it was the first time in my, my career performing where my knees literally knocked uh, as soon as they handed me the mic, and I stepped on top of the dugout because the energy there that night was just. And weren't you friendly insane. with? Mal- were you friendly with Millar? Yeah. 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 Kevin. Kevin Millar. Well, it's a good thing we won that game because they would have found a way to blame the curse on you if we didn't. <laughs> yes. We're those I kind know. of fans, you know. <laughs> the new song "Overcome" is is getting released officially at radio tomorrow. Is there a little bit of nervousness? When you're releasing a new song from a new album, you've been spending all this private time with this new baby, and now you're, mm-hmm. you know, letting all of us kind of, kind of have at it. Is it? Are you guys a little nervous of how people are going to react to the new music? I think we have a lot of, you know, we're we're eagerly awaiting it to, to get out there. We we we've, yeah. we've uh, we put a lot of work into the record, and and we're proud of it, and uh, we're very satisfied with the outcome, and um, we're just happy that that we enjoy it so we just hope everybody else does and uh keep our fingers crossed i think it really represents uh uh you know who we are as a band and what this record is uh it really kind of defines our brand of rock and roll and uh you know as we we've all you know come to grips with our identities uh, and then brought that to the band and, and become comfortable with the band's identity it came out in music and uh, i think uh, overcome is a great representation of that and i think we're all confident since we're in Boston, can we can we talk about Paul Geary managing you guys? Yeah, Paul man. Geary from Extreme is, is yeah, uh, working. Yeah, what's man. it? What's it like? Round of applause for Paul, who's here today. <laughs> you know, yeah. Does he? Did he? Did he volunteer to do a little studio work on the drums if you guys needed it? Or what's we're going to uh, get him up at Soundcheck t- today. So <laughs> uh, we've been he, talking about it, but it hasn't happened yet. So today's the day. You know, I think he brings that whole. Uh, Bostonian flair and vibe uh, to management. And, uh, what does he threaten to beat somebody with yeah, a pipe? He can, yeah, he exactly. can kill somebody if <laughs> necessary. Uh, he's, yeah. he's connected, you know, with some in the Italian district down there. <laughs> but uh, you know, he, he just brings that energy and that passion uh, to to the side of, of of our art that that you know is is something that we we have to focus on. But but it's nice to have someone that you believe in. And you trust, and and that has the same uh, energy and, and, and passion about what they do, uh, like you do the music. And, and he's also an artist, uh, yeah. So he understands it from both sides, and and uh, he gets excited, man. And when good things happen, and, and when we get a a win, and so uh, it's good to have him as the the captain of the ship. 
Well, a lot of things have changed in, in the music business and outside of it since you guys were here last. And it's good to know that, you know, while some things change, some things stay the same and that all of us here at WAF are still here and that you guys are back. So we got to thank you guys so much for, for coming and spending the time with us today. Thanks for having us. Yeah, we appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.